100% yes. It's the reason why I wrote this book largely, frankly. It's important to me to be seen, not from where I am, as a guy on Shark Tank, who teaches at Harvard Business School, presumably is successful. I want to be seen for where I came from so you can assess your own journey, whoever out there is struggling, and say, well, how did he overcome that? The book is really a blueprint and a manifesto about how to remove the things that are standing in the way of you fully committing to whatever it is you care about. And those forces are internal and external. The internal ones are hard to articulate often. And I think I have the gift of communicating. And so I want to use that gift of communicating and teaching to articulate why is it that sometimes the voice in our head becomes our greatest detractor when it should be our greatest ally. So burn the boats mm. really isn't about burning bridges. <laughs> it isn't about burning the boat when you're still on it. It's about eliminating those things in your life that prevent you from committing. So in the book, I talk about a lot of uncomfortable things I regret, but I felt like I needed to share them so that I could be seen fully from the totality of my journey and not the person on shark. Tank. My hope is somebody out there listening who feels like the die was cast because they made a tough decision because they're dealing with trauma from divorce or being fired reads my story and said, okay, I see how you engineered it. And I see how it worked out. And you've given me a little bit of confidence that maybe I could do the same thing. My book is an attempt to commiserate with you rather than lecture you. And all the shame that I shed in this book is an attempt to let you know that I too struggle just like you. And by the way, there's no end point. You're never going to fully get over it. We're going to manage through it.